Good afternoon, I'm Jake Sloan, Appian Global Industry Manager for Insurance. I'm here with Appian colleague and solution consultant, Derek Moore. Appian is a low-code automation platform, and we've been in the business now for just over 20 years, helping some of the world's largest insurers deliver solutions. One global reinsurer turned to Appian to help reduce their claim intake time. We were able to take that from 45 days on average to five days. How do we do that? Through a three-step process. Discovery, discovering existing processes that are not efficient, designing new processes that are more efficient, and automating those. So with that, Derek, let's get my demo. Thanks, Jake. Let's get started. What we're looking at on screen here is a unified claims dashboard built in Appian. This landing page is tailor-made and unique to my role, containing everything I need to know and do, all within a single location. Uh, now, something that catches our attention in the top left corner of the screen is the uh, SLA that we've breached for the intake portion of our claims process. We're taking, on average, 40, 15 days beyond our SLA to intake a claim. That's a clear problem. Now, traditionally to address this, we'd ask around. We'd book meetings and uh, send emails to try and gather anecdotal evidence about what our problem might be. Or maybe we'd request budget for a data analysis project, spending a lot of time and resources just to understand why we're having this issue. With Appian, we have a much better way to understand why we're having this problem, process mining. Process mining takes a data-driven, analytical approach to problem discovery, allowing us to diagnose issues within our processes with greater certainty and efficiency. What you're looking at on screen now is a diagram outlining the sequence of events that occur when we receive a new claim. Our process mining technology was able to generate this diagram by connecting to and monitoring the activity within our different systems, and then by using machine learning, it's able to map that activity into this diagram that we're seeing to tell us what's really happening when we receive a new claim with actual timelines and volumes. This is a game changer for our customers. Now, our process mining has identified a couple key issues within our current process, and these are signified by red arrows. Uh, the first red arrow comes out of the step where users are entering information into a legacy system. This step is taking, on average, 17 days to complete. That's a clear bottleneck that we'll need to address in our new workflow. The next red arrow actually loops back to the beginning of the process and occurs when incomplete or incorrect claim information is entered. What this is telling us is that the manual entry of claim information is actually a very error-prone step in our process, and when errors do occur, it's resulting in significant rework and duplicate work. This is another inefficiency we'll need to address. So process mining really gives us um, you know, some ground to stand on when trying to uncover useful information about why we're having issues within the business. But in order to really en enact change, we need workflow to systematize and uh, automate this process. Fortunately, with Appian, we have a leg up when it comes to determining what that new workflow should look like. Our process mining is able to generate a target model or desired future state based on, it, based on what it's understood the current state to be. We can then take this target model and bring it into the Appian process modeler where we can further design its execution and optimize its uh, automation. Now that we've brought this our, pro our target model into the process model, we're going to take a look at each step in our process. There are five steps, all of which are currently being done by people. And then we're going to determine the nature of the work that's being done there and then assign the best resource, human or digital, to actually complete that work. So these first two steps of looking at a document and determining if it's a claim and then manually entering this information into our uh, claim system are actually great automation candidates using Appian's machine learning. Rather than having a person look at a document and determine whether or not it documents a claim, we can invoke Appian's document extraction or document classification model. The document classification model, once trained, is able to classify documents and determine whether or not they're a claim with a near-perfect confidence interval. Similarly, rather than having a person manually enter information from that document into our claim system, which process mining told us was a very error-prone step in our workflow, we can instead invoke Appian's document extraction. Appian's document extraction uses artificial intelligence to extract claim information, so that we, and it's, which is robust enough to stand up in production systems, where you'll encounter significant variance in document formatting and information, which are things that traditional optical character recognition struggles with. So now that we've automated these first two steps, which were previously taking a combined total of six days, we've now freed up people to go do higher level work rather than having to look at documents and classify them. More importantly, these steps are now happening in minutes or at most hours, which is a significant improvement from that original six day timeline. Now we understand that no machine learning model is going to be perfect 100% of the time. Uh, and to that end, we have a step where we're keeping humans in control to reconcile any data that may not have been successfully extracted by our model. 
when this happens, a user is sent a task in their inbox, in, uh, in their email inbox. They receive a link to open the task directly in Appian. And they're brought to a screen like this one. Each task in Appian is uh, correlated to an interface that shows them exactly what type of work they need to complete. Because we're extracting information from a document, we can see the document that's uh, been submitted, as well as on the left-hand side, all of the data that's been currently extracted. There's one missing field, and that's the reinsured company. It's likely because Boylston puts their name vertically on the right-hand side. So rather than even typing it in, as a user, I can actually just click and drag to select the information that we want to reconcile so that we can quickly complete this step and get this information flowing through the rest of our process. Now, one of the last steps in our workflow is the most time-consuming one, and that's entering information into our legacy claim system. Process mining told us this takes 17 days on average to complete, and even longer if that user doesn't already have access to this system. These data entry repetitive type tasks are great candidates for Appian's robotic process automation. We're able to train these robots to mimic human behavior telling them where to click and what information to enter, so that once trained, they're able to complete this process programmatically. You don't have to worry about uh, missed keystrokes or entering information into the wrong area. And we're able to train these robots using modern technologies like a screen recorder, so you don't have to hand code all of these robots. You can get them into production much faster. Once in production, these robots are able to complete their function in seconds or minutes rather than the original 17 days, which is a massive time savings. Now, the last step in our process is to propagate this information into our CRM. Uh, rather than having a person do that, which is taking them two days on average to complete, we can just invoke an integration in Appian so that we then pass our, our claim information directly into that system without requiring a person involved at all. We have a number of no-code connections to popular systems, including CRMs like Salesforce. So once we uh, point this node to our uh, Salesforce integration, we're able to then pass in that information uh, that's been extracted from the claim. So now we've kind of covered how Appian is able to help you automate your workflows, right? We took what was a five-step process that had all people in it, automated four of those steps while still keeping humans in control at the critical juncture of data extraction and reconciliation. So in summary, we've shown you how Appian helps you discover inefficiencies in your current processes using process mining, how it helps you de design a better workflow, and then automate that workflow to optimize its efficiency, enabling you to hit your business objectives, like reducing your claim intake time from an average of 45 days down to five days. If you like what you've seen here and want to learn more, please come check out Appian at booth 508. Thank you. Thank you.